Why looking poor is important. You won't believe reason number three. What's up, everybody? It's Future Mind, back with another video. Now, you know I love getting glammed up, but today we're switching things up. We're diving into why looking poor can actually be important. You heard that right. Sometimes keeping it low key can have some surprising benefits. Stick around because some of these reasons might just blow your mind. Chapter one, social awareness. Open your eyes. We got to talk about social awareness. It's more than just a buzzword. It's a way of life that can transform how you see the world and interact with it. When you look like you're struggling, you start to see the world through a different lens. It's like putting on a pair of glasses that reveal the hidden struggles of everyday life. You notice things you never did before, like how many people are living on the streets or struggling to make ends meet. It's a stark reality that often goes unnoticed in the hustle and bustle of daily life. It's a reality check that most people in their fancy cars and designer clothes never get. They glide through life, oblivious to the hardships faced by those less fortunate. Imagine walking down the street and nobody even makes eye contact. It's like you're invisible, a ghost in the crowd. They clutch their purses a little tighter when you walk by. It's a subtle but powerful reminder of the social barriers that exist. That's the reality for a lot of people, and looking the part can open your eyes to their struggles. You start to see the world from their perspective, and it's eye-opening. It's like this invisible wall breaks down, and you can connect with people on a deeper level. You begin to see them not just as strangers, but as fellow human beings with their own stories and struggles. You start to understand their stories, their struggles, and their resilience. It's a humbling experience that makes you appreciate the strength and courage it takes to face life's challenges. It's a powerful experience that can change your entire perspective on life. You become more empathetic, more compassionate, and more willing to lend a helping hand. And the best part? This understanding can inspire you to make a difference. You might start volunteering at a homeless shelter, donating to charities, or speaking out against inequality. You become an advocate for social change, using your voice and actions to make the world a better place. It's a journey that starts with opening your eyes and seeing the world for what it truly is. When communities come together, amazing things can happen. Collective efforts can lead to significant social impact, creating a ripple effect that benefits everyone. Celebrating small victories and acts of kindness can build momentum for larger changes. Every little bit helps, and it all starts with awareness. Unity and solidarity are powerful tools in the fight against social injustice. When we stand together, we can overcome even the most daunting challenges. So open your eyes, look around and take action. The world needs more people who are willing to see, understand and make a difference. Together, we can create a brighter, more inclusive future for everyone. It all begins with a single step, opening your eyes. Chapter two, stay safe and secure. Don't be a target. Let's be real, flashing your cash and expensive jewelry is like painting a target on your back. Thieves, scammers, they're always on the lookout for an easy mark. And who's easier to target than someone who looks loaded? Think about it. If you were a criminal, would you go after the person in ripped jeans and a t-shirt or the one dripping in diamonds? Exactly. Blending in and looking less affluent can actually keep you safer. It's less likely someone will try to rob you if they think you don't have anything worth stealing. Plus, it can deter those annoying people who only talk to you because they think you're loaded. Chapter 3. Authenticity and trust. Keeping it real. Let's be real, nobody trusts a phony. Authenticity is the cornerstone of any meaningful relationship, whether it's personal or professional. When you're trying to connect with people on a genuine level, especially in communities that are struggling, rolling up in a Lamborghini isn't exactly the best look. It sends the wrong message, one that says you're more interested in showing off than actually helping. It's like, hey, I'm here to help, from my ivory tower. This kind of approach can create a barrier, making it difficult for people to relate to you or trust your intentions. But when you look like you understand their struggle, that you've been in the trenches with them, it builds trust. People can sense when you're being genuine, and that authenticity can make all the difference. They know you're not just some out-of-touch rich person who doesn't understand their problems. Instead, they see you as someone who has faced similar challenges and can empathise with their situation. 
This is especially important in fields like social work, community organising, or even just making friends in a new place. In these areas, trust and authenticity are crucial for building strong, lasting relationships. People are more likely to open up to you, share their stories, and let you into their lives if they feel like you're one of them. This sense of belonging can foster deeper connections and more meaningful interactions. It's about building bridges, not walls. Creating an environment where people feel safe and understood is key to fostering trust and cooperation. And sometimes, looking less affluent can be the key to making those connections. When you present yourself as approachable and relatable, people are more likely to see you as a friend rather than an outsider. So, remember, authenticity isn't just about being honest. It's about being real, relatable, and genuinely invested in the well-being of others. Keeping it real is the best way to build trust and make a lasting impact. OK, let's talk money, honey. Have you ever heard of the saying, the more you make, the more you spend? It's a trap. So many people get caught up in the cycle of trying to keep up with the Joneses. They buy fancy cars, designer clothes and huge houses just to impress people they don't even like. But here's a secret. You can be rich without looking like it. In fact, some of the wealthiest people in the world live surprisingly modest lifestyles. Think about it. Every dollar you spend on a flashy car or a designer handbag is a dollar you could be investing in your future. That's money that could be growing in the stock market, building your dream business or securing your retirement. Looking less affluent can actually be a powerful financial strategy. It frees you from the pressure to keep up with everyone else and allows you to focus on what truly matters, building wealth and achieving your financial goals. Imagine this, instead of spending $500 on the latest gadget, you put that money into a high yield savings account or invest it in stocks. Over time, that money grows thanks to the magic of compound interest. It's like planting a tree and watching it grow over the years. The more you nurture it, the bigger it gets. And it's not just about saving and investing. It's also about investing in yourself. Take courses, learn new skills, and start a side hustle. These are investments that can pay off in ways you can't even imagine. The knowledge and skills you gain can open doors to new opportunities and increase your earning potential. Don't forget about your mental and physical well-being. Investing in your health is just as important as investing in your finances. A healthy body and mind can help you stay focused and productive enabling you to achieve your financial goals more effectively. So the next time you're tempted to splurge on something you don't really need, think about the long-term benefits of investing that money instead. Remember, true wealth isn't about how much you spend. It's about how much you save and invest. Focus on building a solid financial foundation and you'll be well on your way to achieving financial freedom. Believe it or not, in some cultures, Flashing your wealth is considered tacky. Yeah, you heard me right. It's all about being humble, respectful, and not rubbing your riches in everyone's faces. And you know what? I kind of respect that. It's about understanding and respecting the values of the people around you. It's about being a part of something bigger than yourself. And hey, even if you're not in a culture that frowns upon wealth, there's something to be said for being the down-to-earth person in the room. Sometimes, how you dress is about more than just fashion. It's about making a statement. Think about it. What you wear can be a powerful form of self-expression. It can tell the world who you are, what you believe in, and what you stand for. For some people, looking less affluent is a way to protest against consumerism, capitalism, or social inequality. It's a way to say, hey, I'm not buying into this materialistic, superficial culture. It's about rejecting the idea that our worth is tied to what we own. It's about embracing simplicity, sustainability, and social justice. And you know what? It takes guts to go against the grain like that. It takes courage to stand up for what you believe in, even if it means standing out from the crowd. Ever notice how everyone wants a piece of you when you look successful? It's like you become a walking, talking ATM. People hit you up for loans, investment opportunities, or just to pick up the tab every time you go out. And don't even get me started on the long-lost relatives who suddenly come crawling out of the woodwork. Looking less affluent can help you avoid all that unwanted attention. It allows you to fly under the radar and live life on your own terms without feeling pressured to please everyone else. 
It's about setting boundaries and protecting your energy. It's about surrounding yourself with people who love you for you, not for what you can do for them. So there you have it, seven surprising benefits of looking poor. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Let us know in the comments what you think about these reasons. Which one surprised you the most? See you in the next video.